Hey, greetings from Joy Yell. I'm standing by our one of our most recent donated buses. So grateful, beautiful bus. We have one almost identical to this. We're so thankful for how God keeps providing these through generous people. Now, what we're still praying for, of course, is bus drivers. These things don't drive themselves quite yet. Uh, and maybe that'll come someday, but for now, uh, we're still praying for bus drivers for several of the programs. We're thankful uh, that 80 programs are open already. Six more are opening these w this week. There's a few CIAs in Bible Venture where we need a few more staff, and we're praying hard uh, for the CIA coordinator. So if you know uh, someone who loves equipping those who work with students, teenagers in particular, boy, this is a huge opportunity. Right now, I think there's about 40 more uh, middle school students who could be involved if we had this position. Uh, that's just for starters. So a huge, huge opportunity and excitement. We just have to pull the trigger as soon as we get this next person on board. We're also praying for a maintenance coordinator, a housekeeping coordinator uh, to join our team. I'm so thankful for the year-round staff we do have now, uh, even for the equipping coordinators. In fact, this week, all of our equipping coordinators, Bible Adventure Leadership, is meeting together uh, on Wednesday uh, just because things are going. They get together and they, they encourage each other and they strengthen each other. Now, Wednesday is also uh, the final day before Jan Diaz gets to go on her three-month sabbatical. So be praying for Jan that she'll be refreshed and renewed during this time and all the Bible adventure people who are stepping up. Mother Daughter is happening this weekend. There's a few more spots. Of course, uh, not only do we have Mother Daughter, then we have our Momentum. This is great for middle school and junior high students uh, to come to. Then we've got our Father-Son Retreat, and we're looking forward to that. If you haven't registered yet, well, fathers and sons, now's a good time to do so. And then Bible Adventure students, this is coming up in December. You'll want to register soon for that. Then we got our, our Bible Adventure Weekend in March. Uh, we've got uh, also the mother-son in March, and then we've got the father-daughter in April. So some real exciting things that are coming up. Uh, we've got our stewardship banquets. We hope you'll join us. We hope you'll bring some friends who'd love to learn more about the ministry. Uh, maybe they already know about the ministry. Just come together. Great meal and a great time just being encouraged, hearing stories of what God has done. And that's our, our divine power banquets. Well, recently I was at a conference, Child Discipleship Forum, and I want to share some, uh, some key things from this that will encourage you as well in your ministry. You know, one of the things we're trying to do is help to make disciples of Jesus Christ who will expand God's kingdom around the world through spiritual multiplication. This is part of our vision here at Joyo. Uh, another word for a disciple is an apprentice. It's a follower. And to all of you volunteers, Barnabas mentors, CIA, or camp, what, what we're really trying to do is help these young children follow after you. And so uh, first thing to realize is when you're doing this is just being with them is so huge because they get to see you and they get to see how you live and they get to see how you follow Jesus. And so not only do we want them to be with you, we want them to become like you because you're their teacher. And so as they learn more about you, it's important to help them become like you and then to do what you did. See, the original 12 disciples, apprentices of Jesus, got to be with him all the time. and They got to see who he was and what he did. And, and then he used them to expand his kingdom. And in the same way, God is using you. So I pray this encourages you and fills you with some confidence. One final thing I want to tell you. Last Tuesday, our board voted to go ahead with construction on the Shepherd's Lodge. We're really excited by this. And at this point, we're praying that God's going to provide, and we're aggressively, wholeheartedly pursuing $399,599. We'd love to see that come in by the end of this year so construction doesn't have to stop. Thanks for being part of the Joyelle team.